Welcome to my channel. This is Sir Matt, your virtual business teacher. I am very grateful that finally Daily English is growing. Finally, I have uploaded my first ever video on YouTube. Special thanks to my colleagues and the Kidnon State University Alumni Campus for encouraging me to do this in the work. Expect that I will be uploading more educational videos about business education and research as well. So what are you waiting for? Like and subscribe. So let's start notes today. So for today's video, I will be talking about uh, business research concepts. I know many students are struggling how to start a business research or a research paper. So if you're one of those students who are struggling, this video is for you. So don't skip and continue watching. The common definition of research is a search for knowledge. It can also be defined as the scientific and systematic search for information on a specific topic. Many authors define research as a careful investigation or inquiry for new facts in the branch of knowledge. Research is a technical academic activity that follows a certain process. It helps discover truth through objective and systematic methods. The purpose of research are the following. So first, review or synthesize existing knowledge. Next is to investigate existing situations or problems. Next is provide solutions to the problem. So problems like, for example, in businesses or establishment, uh, low sales, low productivity of employees, and high turnover of employee. Uh, through research, it could provide solutions to that problems. So fourth is explore and analyze more general issues. Next is to create new procedures or systems. Research, some researches could provide also new alternative systems, new business models in order to solve those problems occurring in the businesses or establishments. So next is explain new phenomenon and lastly to generate new knowledge. As a researcher, we, your mentors, aim to have a research that can contribute to the body of knowledge. So now, let us review some terms commonly used in research papers. So first is concept. A concept is generally accepted collection of meanings or characteristics associated with certain events, objects, conditions, situations, and behaviors. Classifying and categorizing objects or events that have common characteristics beyond any single observation creates concepts. We draw concepts from experience, through interviews, or constant communication and observations. Next is the operational definition. An operational definition refers to a terms of specific criteria for testing or measurement whether the object to be defined is physical or highly abstract. Definition must specify the characteristics and how they are being observed. The procedure must also be clear that any person can understand. Next is variable. The term variable is synonymously used as a construct or the object or property being studied. A variable is a symbol of an event, act, characteristic, trait, or attribute that can be measured in which we assign values. They can be dependent, your x, or independent, y. So we will discuss further about variables in the next chapters or episodes of my videos. Next is theory. A theory is a set of systematically interrelated concepts, definitions, and propositions that are advanced to explain and predict phenomena or facts. And lastly, models. 
The term model is used in the business research and other fields of business to represent phenomena through the use of analogy. A model refers to a representation of system that is conducted to study some aspect of that system or the system as a whole. Models differ from theories in that theory's role is explanation whereas model's role is representation. Business research is a scientific process of acquiring specific and detailed information in areas of business such as marketing, finance and accounting, management and production to maximize profitability. This study helps business institutions to determine the type of products and or service which gives the company higher profitability. It can also be defined as the acquisition of knowledge for professional growth and commercialization. Examples of the business uh, researches are marketing research on product distribution and sales. Most big corporations like Apple conducts business research to determine the mobile demand and current application mostly used by the mobile user. That is why Apple is always in the top gross on the mobile phone industry. Not number one, but always on the top five. Research of outputs may involve innovations in creating new demands or filling up the demand and supply gaps. Business researches may involve market, financial, brand, product, risk, competitor, demand, and distribution analysis. Now, let us discuss the types of researches. There are several types of researches that any researcher can undertake. Below are the types of research given by Smith 2015 in his book Business Research Methodology. So first is Applied Research also known as decisional research use existing knowledge to help find a solution to the problem or set of problems oftentimes applied researches are used in business to make decisions of situations in marketing production and finance fundamental research frequently called basic or pure research aims to extend the boundaries of knowledge in a given specialization with no immediate application to current situations examples are pure mathematical researches that aims to develop theorems or algorithms futuristic research is the systematic study of possible future conditions it covers the analysis of how conditions may change as a result of the implementation and consequences of policies and actions. Next is the descriptive research. This includes surveys and fact-finding inquiries of different kinds. It attempts to find answers on the questions of who, what, when, and sometimes how. The researcher describes or defines a subject, often by demographic profiling. The main intention of the descriptive researches is to study current trends. Descriptive researches are also a great source of information for marketing of certain products or services. Explanatory research goes beyond description and attempts to explain the reasons for the phenomenon and descriptive research only observe. The research would use theories or at least hypotheses to account for forces that cause a certain phenomena to occur. Predictive research If we can provide a plausible explanation for an event after it has occurred, it is desirable to be able to predict when and in what situations the event will occur. This research is just as rooted in theory as an explanation. This research calls for a high order of inference making. In business research, the prediction is found in studies conducted to evaluate specific courses of action or to forecast current and future values. Analytical research The researcher has to use facts or information already available and analyze this to make a critical evaluation of the material. Empirical research It is appropriate when the proof is sought that certain variables affect other variables in some way. Evidence gathered through experiments or empirical studies is today considered to be the most powerful support possible for give to give hypothesis. Conceptual research 
Conceptual research is related to some abstract ideas or theory. It is generally used by philosophers and thinkers to develop new concepts or to reinterpret existing ones. For quantitative research, it is based on the measurement of quantity or amount. It applies to phenomena that can be expressed in terms of quantity. For qualitative research, it is concerned with qualitative phenomena, for example, phenomena relating to or involving quality of kind. This type of research aims at discovering the underlying motives and desires using in-depth interviews for the purpose. Other techniques of such research are word association tests, sentence completion tests, story completion test, and other similar projective techniques. Attitude or opinion research, for example, research designed to find out how people feel or what they think about particular subject or institution is also a qualitative research.